In this segment, what we're going to do is show several ways to measure bolt circle because one of the most common questions we have coming in is, what is my bolt circle? Now, in many cases, we can tell from the vehicle because we know the make, model, and year of the vehicle, and we know the listing for that. And that's true of the end user, too. But in many cases, with hot rods and race cars and things like that, there's been a mixture of hardware under the car for the driveline, uh, particularly with the front and rear hubs. When that happens, sometimes no one's sure what the bolt circle is, and obviously they want to make sure it's right when they order the wheel. So let's go through the process of how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to start with an easy one. The easy one here is a six lug. Now, wheels with a six or a four or an eight lug, therefore an even number of lugs, those wheels are very easy to measure the bolt circle because we're measuring from opposite wheel studs. And that makes it pretty straightforward. So you can go, in this case, we're going to put a ruler up and we're going to measure. And that's a little over five and a quarter inches. Now, I don't know of a bolt circle that's a little over five and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is flip around with my ruler. And the reason I'm using a ruler is because tape measures tend to deflect and cause some problems. So I always like to use a true straight edge when I do this. And from center to center, it's exactly 135 millimeters. Well, that tells me that this bolt circle is 135 millimeter, which is a Ford uh, half ton SUV and pickup bolt circle. That makes perfect sense, particularly if it was a Ford truck. Uh, also, let's talk about the uh, measurement device. Again, using a straight edge is the best choice because it doesn't move around laterally on you, and so you have a much better chance of getting a good measurement. So if it was a four lug, we'd measure opposite, or an eight lug, we'd measure opposite, or a six lug, in this case, measure an opposite, and we'd get a good reading. Now, to improve the precision of your reading, what you need to do is go from the bottom edge of one to the bottom edge of the next. That edge is a lot easier to, to get precisely over a middle of a stud. So I would recommend to you that you use the edges. That's what we're going to do again. And again, we see that that's a little over five and a quarter. That doesn't add up to me because I know the bolt circles typically in the truck size are uh, six on five or six on five and a half. Uh, there are some six lug metrics like 132, but let's check and see. And there's also 135. Again, the bottom edge to the bottom edge, and that is exactly 135 millimeters, as you can see on the ruler here. So uh, we have a good measurement. We know that's six on 135. Again, that's, that's an easy one. Now let's go to the most common and much harder one to measure. We'll take a look at five lug. Again, we've got another, another one of our show hubs here with five lugs on it. And all of a sudden, it gets a lot harder. Why is that? Because we don't have an opposite stud that's in the circle. And you can guess, if you go down here, that if you measure to this one or this one, it's not really quite as far as it would be to here. And that's true. So what do you do? Well, the best way uh, is to, again, take your straight edge. And uh, lucky for us, this is marked 5 by 4.75, so we actually know what this is. Uh, but we're going to measure it to, for verification. So in this particular case, you can do a couple of techniques. My favorite is bottom edge to bottom edge on the, on the closest stud that would be opposite. And what do I get? There's bottom edge to bottom edge. That's four and a half. And you say, well, wait a minute. You just said 4.75. Well, that's correct because once I make this measurement, then I add, when I use a five lug, then I add the quarter of an inch to it because I know that this is going to be off approximately a quarter of an inch. So four and a half plus a quarter, 4.75. I've got my measurement. The other thing you can do is you can measure from the middle, again, that's an approximation, to the bottom edge of this one. And you can see that does come out to be 4.75 inches. Uh, that middle thickness of the stud, though, is a little bit of a variable. So I would suggest to you that you go this way 
bottom edge to bottom edge and add the quarter. Now, suppose that this bolt circle was a metric bolt circle. What would I do then? Well, I would measure from the bottom edge to the bottom edge of the one closest to being directly opposite. I would get my reading. And then what I would do is I would add, uh, in, in this case, uh, what's a quarter of an inch equivalency? Well, that's approximately six millimeters. So then I would add my six millimeters, and uh, I would have a good approximation of the bolt circle. In this case, the bolt circle would be, well, it's 115 plus six, so that's 100 and about 121. Uh, it just so happens that the metric conversion for this is to 4.75 is 120.6. So we got a pretty good uh, approximation of this by saying it's 121. Now, is there an easy way to do this? Is there a special tool? And the answer is yes. These disks are manufactured and they have a series of holes in them, and these are specifically four or five lugs, since the five lug ones are tough to measure. And so what you do is you just basically find where it fits. Doesn't fit there, doesn't fit there, fits there. Okay, what hole am I in? 4.75. So that's the easy way to do it. And if you measure uh, five lug vehicles a lot, you should invest in one of these so that you can measure it and uh, get a good solid measurement on it when you're fitting wheels. Now the next question is, how do I measure the bolt circle on a wheel? I don't have the hub. I've got a wheel that I need to measure. Well, that's really difficult, and that does take a special tool to do it accurately. Here's an example. This particular tool happens to, be, happens to come from Prestige, and what it is is it's just a caliper, and you can see that these pointed areas would fit into two adjacent uh, holes in the wheel. And then you look at the reading here, you've got a four lug, a five lug, and a six lug. And you can then, by lining it up with the wheel, you just put it in the wheel, it self aligns in these cones right here. And then you've got the readings in here and you choose the number of lugs you have and it'll read out directly what the bolt circle of the wheel is. So that's the best solution for finding a bolt circle on a wheel, is to take this and uh, uh, go uh, to read this directly. Otherwise, you're really guessing when you do that. If you have any other questions, take a look at our website, www.weldracing.com, and look at the tech section. You'll find what you need.